Last night's crash along U.S. 54 at the New Mexico state line in far northeast El Paso killed two women. Police say the driver of a minivan pulled into the path of a military bus on Gateway North, causing the bus to T-bone the minivan. The minivan's driver, 50-year-old Ana Sandoval, died at the hospital, while her 78-year-old passenger, Maria del Carmen Sandoval, died at the scene. Three children in the back seat were treated for minor injuries, as were some of the 28 people on board the military bus. CBS 4 at 10's Jacqueline Quinones is in the CBS 4 control room after talking with a witness to the deadly crash about an effort to make that dangerous intersection safer. Ryan Sanchez is an employee at the edge of Texas Steakhouse, and he's been working there for three years. He tells me that he has seen many crashes happen at this busy intersection at the state line in Gateway North. In the three years I've been working here, there's been maybe about 10 or more accidents that, that I was here for, and even more when I wasn't here for. Sanchez says his work advocated a while back to get some lights at the intersection. So we tried doing a petition, we tried having our customers sign it, we didn't try getting the locals from Chaparral, the high schools. We had this huge list of uh, petitions, but I just suppose it never went through, or we just still haven't heard back from, from anyone. Amy Evans with NM Dot says they have been working on a project to get the roads fixed for the past two years. Right now we are at 60% design, um, which means they're still looking into it. Uh, we will have another public meeting when it gets to 90% design phase. Evans says with the recent crashes, they are aware and are trying to get this project going sooner than later. This project done, getting it um, put in place, safety and capacity are what is fueling this project. So definitely we're, you know, trying our best. We're going to get it out there and try to get that build underway as soon as possible. Sanchez says he hopes that this crash puts more of a push to get this project going. The sooner the better. The sooner this gets fixed, the sooner everyone will be safe, you know, and secure knowing that this road right here won't be as much as, as of a danger as it was before. NMDOT says that the design phase for this project will start in the springtime of 2025 and the construction will begin in the winter of 2025. TxDOT is also teaming up to do this project and we have yet to hear back from them. Reporting in the control room, Jacqueline Quinones.